Here is the most anticipated 2021 LEGO Star Wars set, Trouble on Tatooine. We get a Tusken Raider who is finishing off the remains of Anakin's mom. Baby Yoda, I, I mean Grogu. His name's Grogu, guys, so we can all stop calling him Baby Yoda now. I mean, he's not even Yoda at all, so... Here's Grogu. And the guy from Fortnite. This set is honestly overrated. I mean, look at this set. It's just weird how it's half this and just not so much to look at here. This speeder is really oversized. And why do we need this ballista? The Kray Dragon isn't even in this set at all. Also, why doesn't it come with Cobb Vanth? For just two minifigures, $30 isn't really worth it. If this set came with an exclusive minifigure like Cobb Vanth or Boba Fett, people would really go after this set. But no. People only got this set because it comes with the guy from Fortnite and this really awesome gun. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Come on, guys. We're literally about to get another Din Djarin in another set. So if you're really trying to find this set, just wait until the summer. Oh, and by the way, stop saying this guy is from Fortnite, guys. That's cringe, okay? Oh, my God. Why? Ah! Speaking of Fortnite, I really hate how kids are assuming... Every Star Wars character is from Fortnite now. Like seriously, why does Fortnite have to make everything into theirs? So my seven-year-old brother plays Fortnite and he told me to get this set for him because it comes with a character from Fortnite. A character from Fortnite? I can't believe that this is actually a thing now. Why is this a thing? Like why does Fortnite have to do this? Why? I'm probably gonna trigger Fortnite fans, but Guys, stop saying that these guys are from Fortnite. That's super cringe. <laughs> hey guys, do you remember Revenge of the Brick? This came out around the time when the- OH MY GOD! WHAT THE HECK?! THAT'S THE FREAKIEST sh EVER! THAT LOOKS LIKE A HUMAN TRYING TO BECOME A LEGO! Oh, it's so bad! That's a straight up cursed Yoda right there! And what's with all the Chewies?! They're all Chewy! And that makes Windu looks really offensive! Why would you make this Lego?! WHY?! Ah, oh. Revenge of the Sith is the greatest Star Wars film ever. So it's really awesome that we get an iconic set from an iconic duel. Yeah, that's right. The Duel of Mustafar set is probably one of the greatest Lego sets ever. Ever not. Now, the minifigures are good. It's this set that really bothers me. Where's the high ground? You can see here that Anakin has the high ground and Obi-Wan has the low ground. That is so disrespectful to Obi-Wan Kenobi! Like, come on, they could have put the high ground right here, but all we get is this stupid little mechanism that really doesn't work at all! It's so pointless! But you know what really sucks? It's that LEGO has to reuse the torsos from these minifigures. They literally reused the torso on Anakin during the opening scene of Revenge of the Sith. Like, his robes aren't supposed to be burned at this point! Same with this Obi-Wan, they just reused the Obi-Wan from Duel and Mustafar on the General Grievous' Starfighter. Obi-Wan's robes are not burnt yet. Like, come on, Lego, continuity here, come on! But what's more triggering about this set is that this set is $80. Why? <laughs> here we have the 501st Battle Pack. Well, technically it's not called a Battle Pack, but since everyone wanted it to be a Battle Pack, we just called it a Battle Pack anyway, so it's a Battle Pack. And I gotta say this. LEGO Star Wars fans have the greatest voice in the LEGO community. All we have to do is just nag to LEGO about us wanting a certain LEGO set and then they just make it. Wow, what such influence. But in all honesty guys, this is actually a really good set. We get really great minifigures and two battle droids. And they introduce a new head for clone troopers which looks much better than those anime looking wannabe clone troopers from 2008. You know, I would complain about the oversized Bark Speeder and ATRT, but I think it's okay. When this set was revealed, I was super excited to get it. But it took three months to get it because... Because so many scalpers are trying to sell this online. Like, $140 for two battle packs? Like, what the heck? $300 for a 501st battle pack? I mean, that makes sense, but whoa! Scalpers are the true menace to the LEGO community. So don't buy from them. It's literally $30 at the Lego store. What? 